Yeehaw! Welcome back to the Southern Snack, where life is too short to be serious. All right, Jollibee. Jollibee. Yes, they have a top-tier chicken sandwich. If you've never been to Jollibee, you need to give them a try. Uh, but they have two new limited-time-only chicken sandwiches. The only reason I found out was like, okay, well, I, I'm in the area. Let's see if Jollibee's got a new dessert or something. Then, bam. Two new sandwiches and they have brought back the ube pie problem is they were sold out no surprises there i'm just happy they had the sandwiches right so we're gonna go ahead and post for the thumbnail these look divine they're huge they're monstrous sandwiches um so you you, you already know now they are pricey 17 dollars for these two sandwiches however they are massive they are fresh they are delightful so Let's go ahead, pose for this thumbnail, give them a try, and then, you know, we'll, we'll tell you how they are. All right, so please subscribe, like, and comment. I'm more excited about the pineapple one. It looks like it's got like a sweet pineapple sauce. It comes with a pine, is this is called Aloha. It's got a pineapple on top and then bacon. I mean, look at that. Just look at that delicious looking sandwich. All right, so let's take Big old juicy bite into this big old sandwich. Oh boy. Sorry. I got distracted by a piece that was falling off. I'm trying to get it all together too because it's such a big sandwich. I mean, oh, it's hot. Oh, I love that sweetness. Maybe a bit too overpowering, but wow. Mmm. That's delicious in the most unique way. Like, I've never had a chicken sandwich like this with that fruity sweetness of a pineapple. Jollibee always found, finds a way to make the weird things work. Like, this is very delightful. Again, the only issue I have is it does kind of overpower the chicken in a way at first. But just like how crunchy, how thick, how sweet and savory. It's not something you would ever come to expect from an experience with a chicken sandwich. But here we are with them doing a very very good job on this i'm gonna give it a nine i'm gonna give it a nine um wow wow i think if they added like a kick to it kind of let the chicken kind of have a say too it, it could be a 10 but wow i mean they did such a really good job on that now we got the bacon i think it's just called okay it's bacon and cheese so it's cheddar cheese, bacon on their sandwich. Can't expect too much out of this, but I gave the, the cheese and bacon uh, chicken sandwich that Popeyes did a year ago, I gave that a 10. So we never know what's gonna happen, but let's try it. That's really good too. Got some mayo. It's very melty with the cheese. The bacon's got a good touch to it. I like it. It is very reminiscent of what Popeyes did. Maybe the cheese isn't quite as good, um, but it's still very solid. I don't like it as much as the Aloha, but it's, it's good. Hmm. Yeah, it's a very solid sandwich. I give it like an eight and a half. Again, you know, you get every good ingredient out of that chicken that really stands out on its own. And then you add cheese and bacon. And it's, it's really a nice combo. Um, maybe maybe I like it better without the, the cheese and the bacon, unlike the Popeyes where I, I loved it with the cheese and bacon. But still, very good sandwich. Again, pricey. But here's the thing, folks. Most people don't have a Jollibee. 
So if you have a chance to go try them for the experience and you have a chance to try something like the Aloha sandwich, you know, it, it's an experience. It's something else. Um, so really, I mean, I would recommend it not just for the chicken sandwiches, but these guys have spaghetti on their menu, fried chicken and spaghetti. So, you know, again, if you've never been, go give them a shot. They get pretty busy, so I would go early on in the day, maybe later on in the day, but you know me, I get busy. I try and schedule things in when I can. And uh, we ran into some busy traffic, but I walked in, didn't wait too long and got what I wanted for the most part, didn't get the ube pie. They always run out of the desserts for some reason, but anyways, yeah, go try these sandwiches All right, guys, out. so I've got a big surprise for y'all. You probably didn't expect this, did ya? Well, it's a three-part review. Um, so, chicken sandwiches, ube and peach mango pies, and then the uh, pineapple quencher that they released last summer. So, three items, one review, get it all together. I did the pineapple quencher like a long time ago so it's crazy but uh been trying to find ways to get content out there quicker and so if i've done like multiple reviews at the same place it's like why don't i just go ahead and push it all together and then that kind of helps you out so if i if i have that come up yeah absolutely we're doing that so anyways um we're gonna grab a piece of the ube we're gonna grab a piece of the mango we're gonna show you the inside of them maybe have some way to put it in the thumbnail but there's a look at it not really posing for a thumbnail because again the chicken sandwich is already in the thumbnail so um maybe separate it separate it who knows all right so what we're gonna start with ube i'm not the biggest ube fan but i'm intrigued i'm very intrigued never had a pie with ube so it's like a purple sweet potato purple yam so very messy now i've had sweet potato pie to me that kind of falls in the same bracket as fungin pie with all the spices and stuff they put on it this doesn't really have spices and it's not super sweet so it's a less sweet sweet potato Definitely got some herbal notes. Gooey. Warm. Crispy. I, I Again, I'm not a big ube fan. I think it works well. It's a very intriguing treat. And like, I could eat this whole thing and be like, you know, that was interesting. But for me... I, I would say that a, a, a good rating for it would be like a 7. It doesn't particularly maybe go wow. I don't know. What do you guys think of ube? There are a lot of people that love ube. and the, I mean, you see a lot of ube items at Trader Joe's for a reason. is because it's a popular um, dessert item. But I've never found myself to absolutely love it. So, peach mango pie. This looks artificial as heck. But let's try it. Oh my goodness, that is good. Just the fruity tropical flavors of peach and mango pair together so well. And all together with this crispy shell. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. That's a huge step up over the ube. It's very delightful. Maybe add a little bit of spice, like a little bit of cinnamon or brown sugar. And that would elevate it even more. I was thinking maybe I could give it a 10, but no, I'm just like, what here could be added to make it even better? And that's it. Some brown sugar, some cinnamon make it a little bit more rich but very very enjoyable i'm gonna give it a nine so that is the pies but both are definitely worth it depending on your perspective of things but um peach mango pie is the winner of the 
too. So anyways, let's go ahead and transition over to All the right, bed. we're at Jollibee where I was hoping to try their pineapple coconut dessert alongside the pineapple, new pineapple refresher quencher drink that they've got. But uh, we're out of desserts. So anyways, we got the drink. We'll see when we get this review up. Who cares? We're just trying it. Please subscribe, like, and comment on this video. Have you ever been to Jollibee? I think they have some good fried chicken. I think it's pretty flavorful. One of the better uh, fried chicken sandwiches in the game. Um, top notch quality, for sure. Never had, well, I was gonna say I've never had their bone-in chicken. I don't think I have. So I, I would like to one day, but every time I'm out here, I'm doing food reviews, so there's no point, right? So anyways, let's go ahead and try this. Wow, that's really good. It, it tastes like a more liquefied uh, pineapple juice. A lot of these uh, sodas, oh yes, the sun's gone. A lot of these sodas that you get that are pineapple flavor, they just don't hit the flavor right. Now the sun's back. This one, you can definitely taste the natural strawberry flavor. It's unmistakable. Extremely unmistakable. It's like drinking a pineapple. And it's so refreshing. They absolutely nailed this. This is what I want when I'm, whenever I grab that Maui Burst Mountain Dew, this is what I want. This is what I'm, I'm begging to taste. And then I take a sip. It's like, no. It's, it leaves me wanting something different. And now we see why. We see why. That gives us the landscape. That leads us where we need to go. And... There's nothing other to be said about it other than it's extremely refreshing. It's going to pair well with fried chicken. There's no question. A cool, refreshing, fruity beverage and fried chicken are just meant to be. Kool-Aid, lemonade, this pineapple juice. So good. So good. If you haven't had a chance to try it, go try it out. Easy 10 out of 10 in my book. I just wish there was a soda like Anyways, that's my review. I'm sticking to it, and I will see y'all around.